My name is Monique Wells. I am the founder and CEO of the Wells International Foundation, president of the French nonprofit association Les Amis de Beaufort Delaney, co-founder of Discover Paris, creator of Entrée de Black Paris Tours, and I am also the president of the preclinical safety consultancy, Toxicology Pathology Services. Well, I chose Buford. First of all, I want to say that um, the reason that I love Buford Delaney, I love his story, I love his work, is because he was a friend of James Baldwin. And a few years ago, I was researching an article on African American grave sites in and around Paris. And I knew that Buford was buried somewhere in this area. And I started to um, research where his grave was located. And I fell upon this absolutely enchanting, poignant, um, just engrossing story about this man. I found out that he was buried in an unmarked grave outside of Paris in a cemetery, it's a, it's a huge cemetery, it's part of the Paris cemetery system, but it is located in a suburb of Paris, so it's outside of the city limits. I went there to just to take a photograph of the grave because I was including the photographs of all the grave sites, and I learned that his grave was not marked, and he was in a pauper's division in this cemetery, and it was very difficult even to determine exactly which space he was in because that particular division was overrun with weeds. About half of the, the space in that division, it looks like it's empty because there are no stones there. And the others are really old and in bad shape. I had to ask friends of Buford Delaney about the location of this, this grave, etc. And when they came back to me with the information, they asked me, was Buford still buried? there. And prior to that point, I did not know that the way that people are buried in France, well, there's a system. And you have, to, you have a grave and you have to continue, or someone has to continue to pay for you to occupy that space. And if, you, um, if that money is not paid, then the cemetery, after a while, has the right to exhume your remains and either place them in a common grave or if they're ashes, uh, sprinkle them in a, in a garden. And I, this was just really news to me and for most Americans, you know, that's shocking. So these friends of Buford were saying, you know, he's in this cemetery, here's the division, here's the plot, is he still there? So I go out, I'm wearing a sort of the, the euphemistic um, reporter's hat and I go to the cemetery office and inquire, and they don't want to give me any information because I'm not family. The first thing they will always ask is, are you family? And then I'm like, no, I'm just trying to write a story. Well, you know, we really don't have to tell you anything, um, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, I was able to uh, learn that the grave was going to be exhumed that year. So I'm just coming along at just the right time, quote unquote. Um, and I take this information back to the friends of Buford Delaney. And they ask, well, what can we do to keep the grave intact? And so I've sort of become an intermediary in this whole story. And I'm the only person in Paris. Um, the friends are in the US or the UK. Um, and so I am able to ascertain that the cost of keeping the grave intact it was going to be less than 300 euros. I did mention that Buford um, was a painter and that the, US, the, the French government owns his work. And that sort of, that got their attention. And so they're like, well, you know, he is an artist and so maybe uh, exceptionally we will allow you to uh, pay this money for, for, for his grave. And so the friends of Buford Delaney sent me that money and I paid it. And it was always made clear to me, you have no rights, you know, you're not family, blah, blah, blah. Um, the family can come in at any time and take this, they can do whatever they want. So the fact that you've paid gives you no rights whatsoever. 
I'm like, I'm clear. The friends were so happy that they said, oh my goodness, you know, you've done something that we have wanted to do from afar and this and that. We want to place a stone at the grave site. What would that take? How much would it cost? Can we get permission? Blah, blah. By then, um, I have heard all of these friends' stories about Buford and knowing already how much he influenced James Baldwin and how Baldwin in turn, when Buford came to Paris, um, sort of acted as Buford's mentor. Um, I should say that Buford Delaney suffered from mental illness and um, Baldwin really became sort of almost a caretaker for him and at the end was literally named as part of a committee to um, take care of Buford's affairs while he was in a mental institution in Paris.